Hello everyone, Joe here. Now, if people know me from past movie review channels that I have had up in the past, they will know that I'm a big Charles Bronson movie fan and I have reviewed a lot of his movies, either with green screen behind me or just in my house, talking about how much of a great actor he is. Now, when Bruce Willis decided to take on the Death Wish franchise. I don't know if he's taking it on because I don't know if any Death Wish movies other than the one he did are going to get made. But I was really surprised at how entertaining the Bruce Willis, Eli Roth directed Death Wish was. Now it's co-written by Joe Carnahan and we know who Joe Carnahan is from NARC and The Grey and Cop Shop recently. So we know his writing skills. It takes elements of the Death Wish 1974 movie, the original uh, kind of outline of it, puts it into a modern spin and it's totally entertaining. Bruce Willis is acceptable as this time around he's not playing an art architect, he's playing a surgeon Still with the name Paul Casey, who, whose family is attacked by these guys who break into his house. And he has to go out for revenge. So he's a mild-mannered guy who suddenly gets a gun in his hand. He doesn't really know how to work it, but it comes naturally to him when he takes out the actual bad guys. But as opposed to the original 1974 film, which was a little bit more realistic on the fact that he didn't get round to killing the actual muggers who did it to his wife and daughter. In this, he does manage to track the people down and we see him kill them in the most vengeful ways, you know, possible. But of late, Bruce Willis is not a well man and he has been putting himself into a lot of director video fodder. I don't know if he's just trying to make a name for himself before the inevitable happens or something like that. He's put, put himself in this film and that film, and they're all pretty much director video nonsense. But in this, which I think is possibly his last, where he is the Bruce Willis of old we know, he really does give a good stab at giving us something a little bit different with the Death Wish franchise. Like I said, I don't know... If he's going to make any more Death Wish movies, it's doubtful that he is. It's doubtful that anybody's going to pick up the mantle of being Paul Kersey and continuing that franchise. But I was totally, totally entertained from start to finish. And I was amazingly surprised at how good this was. I have been avoiding watching this movie because simply it was remade. Just like, you know, many movies have been remade over the years. We know who and what they are. Most of them have been remakes of horror films lately. But when you're taking on one of the big 1970s films, like Death Wish, that starred Charles Bronson, you are thinking to yourself, when it came out a couple of years ago, what have they done what is Bruce Willis doing in this movie why have they re why have they even bothered remaking it but I tell you take it from me it's well worth watching 